Hey guys and gals, what's going on? It's your mother and welcome to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Reach Channel Memories Part 5. Jesus Christ, is a mouthful. Okay, so, um, in the last part, Sora and the gang went to Wonderland. They took some drugs and a queen tried to eat them alive. Life. Also, that queen may have been a guy. Who knows? Also, Jiminy lost all of his journal. I guess he should have wrote it in permanent ink. Riku also went to Traverse Town. It was pointless. Move on. What if it's more things? Huh? Goofy was telling us about another castle we've been to, but none of us really remembers it. Do you think? Could it be that we don't remember because we're losing our memories? Losing our memories? Hold on. Remember what that mystery fella said? In this place, to find is to lose. And to lose is to find. It must have been our memories he was talking about losing. So if we keep going, we'll lose more. Guess it really is Castle Oblivion. So the higher we go, the more we'll forget? Does that mean everything and everybody will be forgotten? Riku, and Kairi too. Do you want to go back? Don't worry, fellers. We might forget about where we've been or what things we've seen, but we won't forget who our friends are. I don't know. Come on, Sora. When you turned into a Heartless, did you forget about me and Donald? Of course I didn't. There you go! No matter what happens, you won't forget your friends! Oh. You're right. Thank you, Goofy. So, if there's nothing here that can make you forget about your friends, then we have nothing to be scared of. Let's go! But when I turned into a Heartless, who was the one who took forever to notice and kept clobbering me? How come you couldn't forget about that? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, the wise man Goofy has spoken. We journey forward. Or you know, you guys could just chill the fuck out. Let Jiminy write down everything we already know in like another journal or something. Or like ha help him rewrite the journal right now. Chill out and just you know put down all your memories in there so you don't forget it. Unless they can erase that journal too. Then I guess that's kind of pointless. Damn guys, we're down to very few decisions. But wise man Goofy has spoke. We are. We continue onward. With our journey. Goofy, what other wise advice do you have for us? There's no way we could ever forget our friends. Why, how wise? If you if you're still remembering the silly stuff, we're probably okay. <laughs> you fucking need right, you beat Donald clobbering Thor with his staff when he was a heartless trying to get to Kyrie. That was Wow. I never really talked about that in the previous let's play, but yeah. What a cunt, Donald! Anyways, let's move on to Olympus Coliseum. Cause you know that's the order from the first game and we're going in order. Oh man, the castle living music is kinda catchy. Oh boy, here we are. What an iconic location from our previous let's play. Oh shit, they actually have a board over here for once. That, that was never there in the previous game. Look, an announcement! Hmm. Hmm. Uh, 
is for some sort of contest. They're calling it Olympus Coliseum Survival Cup. Well, I don't remember that from the first game. It's like a battle royale, last guy standing, Kingdom Hearts battle royale, hashtag put it in a multiplayer mode, scoring next hashtag Kingdom Hearts 3 boils. Also, Jiminy, you don't have to keep, wait a minute. I was gonna say you don't need to keep jumping to read for us, but I was gonna, but we don't speak Greek. Huh. You know how to speak Greek, Jiminy? That, that's actually very interesting. Look at that. I can't read that text right there. Jiminy, you're a badass, Brosis. This game proves it. Contenders have to run in an obstacle course, battling each other along the way. Oh, kind of, yeah. And listen to this. The great heroes, Hercules, will be also competing for the cup. You can stop jumping. J jumping. Jiminy can stop at the jumping. It says he's never been beaten. Sounds like fun. Why don't we enter too? Wow! He's not prepared for my awesome Yu-Gi-Oh deck then! Man, we're gonna be fighting off against Herc again? Do you all- Guys, you know what to do? Grab the barrels! I thought you said- I thought you'd say that. Whenever there's a contest, you're raring to join up! Wow, you know about- You know that, Goofy, but- The only contests we've ever participated in all together that you're- You should be aware of are the- or the Olympus Coliseum Cup from the last game. But you're right, but right now, you're not remembering Olympus Coliseum or this location we are currently in. R Goofy! Where is your consistency? Goddamn! Plot holes, boils! Or maybe you just remember that the personality trait, but doesn't really remember the contest themselves or the location. You're going to compete even if we don't, right? Well, I mean, you got their summoning card for me, so, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. So I'll basically be competing on my own anyways, with very few assists from these two. Guess we better tag along then. Hold it, everyone, there's more! But wait, there's more! Only contenders who finish the preliminary course may attend the main competition. It says the preliminary course is just ahead. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go! Ah, uh, damn, Esquire, you can't afford James Woods for this game? Oh, tragic. Because, you know, he voices Hades in every other Kingdom Hearts game. Hercules is a model of true strength and gl 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 gallanty. The perfect hero. Huh? Oh, he's perfect! All right. Perfectly infuriating! Just thinking about the little son... Sunspot makes me boil. Oh, I'd dra like to drag him to the, into the. Oh, I'd like to drag him into the underworld. Sorry, guys. Which is why you hired me. Oh boy, emo boy Cloud. He's in here too. He's here for another rematch. Oh boy, he's so mad that that all of his wins from the first game and that one part didn't count. And like, I think I don't know, part thirty didn't count. Oh, so he's here for his rematch. Oh, what a champ defending his ch his title. But you don't have your boyfriend Squall this time, do you, Cloud? No, you don't. No, he was in part two, Cl Cloud. You just missed him. <laughs> also, he doesn't know who we are, so... <laughs> but in my head, it all counts. That's right, you're my... You're my man. Oh, wait, shit. That's right, you're my man. Cloud, is it? Your job is to beat Hercules in the games. And once you've got him cornered... Finish the job. Do that for me, and you'll restore my memory, my lost memories, as we agreed. Shit! I mean, uh, no Final Fantasy VII spoilers. You have my, you have my word. Look at that emo boy. Oh well, we got the key beginnings card now. Jeez, boyos! Welcome to Olympus Coliseum yet again, everybody. Thankfully, we'll only be here for one or two parts total for this whole entire Let's Play. Now, the only difference is in Olympus Coliseum, this time you're not participating in a bunch of tournaments. You're just doing the standard Chain of Memories format. Also, in this world, um, the standard Heartless spawn, but since you, since Disney lost the rights to uh, Tarzan and Deep Jungle, uh, they decided to reuse the Monkey Heartless from Deep Jungle and put him in Olympus Coliseum as well. So which makes sense because they did buy Thorin tournaments in the first game. So they just want to keep those Heartless in the game be despite the fact that uh, Disney lost the rights to Tarzan and they cannot use Deep Jungle. So yeah, with that said, I'll see you guys in a bit after the normal Chain of Memories grind. 
See, like this. Here are the uh, Tarzan fucking Harleys I was talking about earlier, the monkeys. Again, they lost the race to Tarzan, so they couldn't use Deep Jungle, but they wanted to use the Heartless anyway, so yeah, they're in Olympus Coliseum now. Really neat. I guess I'll just do this fight for you guys on the camera, and then I'll see you guys in a second. <laughs> yeah, this game's a big grinding fest, like Final Fantasy X on the channel, for those of you that watch that let's play. Goofy, let's wreck up good! Wise man, Goofy. Also, we got a level up, though. I guess I can show that off in this little footage as well. Ain't that great. Oh, and we got a claim bounty card, which I'll be showing off what that does later. Also, CP boost. See you guys in a second. Let's show off what these bad boys do. We're in the we're in a claim bounty room, folks. Only Sora, you can act like access claim bounty rooms in Sora's story, and just. In claim bounty rooms, you can find chests like so. So let's open them up. Also, nice new flashy, um, fucking um, opening animation there. Sorry, didn't have that in the last game. And from this chest right here, we learned a brand new slight flash combo for Sora. If we combine a Blizzard card and two attack cards, we can outperform the ability Blizzard Raid, which is like Strike Raid from the first game, but with Blizzard added to it, which is really cool. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a second. Quick, I suppose I should show you guys Blizzard Raid in case I forget to do it in my boss fight because I don't really use the ability too often, but uh, here you go. Here's Blizzard Raid. Fucking just wreck that large body in two hits. Pretty awesome, I know. See you guys in a second. I hope you enjoyed Blizzard Raid. What do you know? We just got Blizzard Raid, but guess what? We're just about to unlock Strike Raid. Isn't that a coincidence? Basically, it's just a bunch of attack cards. Yeah, right there. It's a three attack card between the value of 24 and 26. Very specific, but very cool, nonetheless. And I'm not going to bother showing it off, since we basically already showed, off, showed it off through Blizzard Raid. So, yeah, Strike Raid. It's the same thing from the last game. Alrighty, we are back. So, welcome to a brand new room type, which we have not been to before. Welcome to the Moogle Room. Remember Moogle, the guy that synthesized stuff for us in the last game? They crafted different items for us to... You know, use and shit like that. Well, they are back in this game, and they are the only shop option. They can't, you know, hooey, Louie, and Dewey in this game. No three. So, yeah, let's talk to the Moogles and see what they're all about. Shh, shh, no, no, no. Also, that's why the currency of this game is called Moogle Points rather than the standard money from the last game. Here's a card pack for you, Koopo. That's good. Oh, oh, okay. I might have to do re a wee bit of reorganizing my deck because that is something better. So it's better some, than some of my cards, but you know, we'll figure it out. Basically, okay. Got any old cards? Well, we're gonna sell our garbage over here, boyo. Good old boyo. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll save the selling for off-camera, but yeah, in just, you sell shit to this guy, he basically is like, okay, so, um, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll make, I'll give you Moogle points for it. Yeah, totally, I'm professional at this. <laughs> So let's get some attack cards, spend some money on that, and see what we get out of it. We're doing a bunch of hauls right now. That's really good. Than his, way better than his free sample. Let's get some magic cards and see what we get. I love Magic the Gathering. Mm, pretty standard. I don't think I'm using any of those cards right there. Mm, 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 mm. I might use a six potion card. Six potion card is very good. And so I'm just going to spend all of our Moogo points right here. That's a decent potion card, and maybe I can use the attack card. Speaking of attack card, let's check out what else we can spend on them. That's, a, that's an okay card right there. And let's buy one more item card pack. And bring us down to eight Moogo points, oh boy. Yeah, pretty standard potion cards. I'll see what we can work with with all this. I'll sell some stuff and see if we can get any Moogle points back and see what's useless and what's not. With all that said, I'll see you guys in a second. And welcome to the door. Finally, we finally get to the goddamn door. The first door. All right. So basically, we need a card that's above a five. So bada bing, bada boom. Sacrifice has to be made, boyo. And we have to sacrifice a card that's above a seven. Or a seven or above. And boom, we'll sacrifice that card right there. And bada bing, bada boom. We are into the new room. Let's roll on in and continue with the story of this world. Oh boy, so good, so fun. 
Huh? Where did you come from? Don't tell me you got finished the pri the prelims. Preliminaries, Phil. We sure did, and now we got now we want to go for the cup. Ah, uh, so the preliminaries was just getting there, I see, because he actually organized the key beginning entrance at the end of the world. Okay, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. Kind of tied into the narrative of this world. You don't see that too often with chain memory level de level design at all. Well, you came to the right place. Not that you stand a chance, not that you stand a chance against Herc. Why not? Two words. You ain't heroes. You're wrong. Yeah, he said three words. Oh my god, Goofy, you're amazing. God bless you. Exactly, but that's not the point. <laughs> oh my god. That's the best, like, way of the ever reference at a running joke in, like, a wa in, like, the whole series so far. That, that, that is great right there. Trey the memories. Quality writing. By the way, it is a running joke. Yeah, the whole Goofy counting filled word, word sing goes into Kingdom Hearts 2 as well and stuff, so yeah. How can we prove we're heroes unless you give us a chance? I mean, he didn't say he won't give you a chance, but he's saying you just simply won't stand a chance against Herc, Sora. There's a difference there. It's like, okay, say Sora, even though Sora did beat Herc at the end of the, at the end of our playthrough in the last game, he has reset all of his progress and chain of memories, so you're kind of starting from the bottom again, Sora. So it's kind of going to be tough to take on the top dog. He's right. He's right, Phil! They cleared the preliminaries. I think they deserve a shot. <laughs> they are not throwing away their shot. <clears throat> but you st you got a point there, Herc. But still. Of course we could uh, always Of course we could always cancel the cancel the games. Cancel them before! Old Phil preliminaries was so hard no one else could finish it. Is that right? Well, if you let us compete, you won't have to cancel the games. How about it, Phil? Nah, nah, nah. Okay, so you got, so you got me over a barrel so far. Here's how it works, kid. Uh, over a barrel, get it? Cause in the last game we were beating Hercules up with barrels. That was funny. It's Sora, not Kid. Sure, sure, kid. Since your team and Hercules are the con are the only contenders. No, they're not. Oh shit! What a dramatic entrance Cloud just made, coming from the darkness of that room. We should only be right outside of the room we were in at the very beginning, so... Wow, doesn't make sense, but still, very dramatic. The games have a new challenger. Name's Cloud. The Mall of the Marrier! Now the game will really be something to see. I'm looking forward to this. Don't, don't expect me to pull any punches. You're gonna punch a 14-year-old boy. Hey, as long as you don't expect them... Hey, as long as you don't expect me to take them. Let's give it our best. <laughs> okay, let's get the let's get the show going. But first, I gotta explain explain a few rules. Rule one: first one through the through the obstacle course wins. Rule two: in the event of a tie, a battle will determine the winner. Rule three: you can interview you can you can interfere with your opponent on the course on your opponents on the course. And finally, rule four: all challenges have to give it everything they got. Sounds legit to me. Wow, so are the only one in a running stance while Hercules and Cloud are just, just standing there. Alright, enough with the spiel. On your marks, get set. Go, go, go! <laughs> Fucking Cloud's just running it. I mean, not running it, just walking it. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a second as we continue the story. In order to get through this door, we need to sacrifice a green card. Done, let's move on with our lives. All right, let's see how this obstacle course is going for the everyone. Is Hercules in the lead? Is Cloud just walking his way to victory? We'll find out. Oh shit, no, Cloud's just standing his way to victory. Gorse, that was nice of him to wait for us to catch up. How did he get ahead of you guys? Like, seriously. Like, okay, he was walking and like... What? What the fuck? It is not writing, remember rule three? You can, you can interfere with your opponent on the course. He's looking to narrow the field. You can put that. You can put that away. I'm not looking for a fight with you. I'm not looking for a fight with you. So keep moving. No Nick. See, he was waiting for us to catch up. 
Well, we've caught up. Let's take him up on his offer and keep going. I don't see a downside. Listen, are you sure? I'm not here for the cup, Jeff Hercules. Today he loses more than the competition. You don't mean, but why? This is business, stay out of it. Go win your cup. <laughs> Time for a rematch, motherfucker. You can't go murking uh, Hercules like that, like you did try to do in the last game, no sorry. So, we're gonna stop you. So, it's time for a rematch, boyo. Round officially four of Th Us versus Cloud on the whole series. This is round four, keep count, boys. Do you realize what you're doing? Rule three, you can interview with your opponents, right? You're not the only one who wants to fight Hercules. Big mistake. Oh boy, round four of Us vs. Cloud begins! Oh boy, they may be reusing his sound effects from the last game too. That's, that's, that's kind of weird. Come on, give me your best shot. Oh boy, Cloud, you don't stand a chance, boyo. Holy shit! Cloud is indeed, in fact, a tough boy, but us and Goofy, we're taking him on! Donald, Donald get him! Cloud can now out Yu-Gi-Oh us! He cannot, I refuse to let him! Come on, you don't stand a chance, Cloudy boy! Oh boy! He doesn't... He really isn't standing a chance! Okay, just waiting for him to use that combo, so we're just saving those cards. Donald, Donald fucking get him, boyo! Appreciate a good old heal. This is the easiest cloud fight we've seen so far in the whole series, in my opinion. Of course, it's in my opinion, and opinions are subjective and shit. Okay. Okay. Power. Let's go, boy. Oh, can you handle the power of Simba, bitch? Oh, fuck, he can. He can. He definitely can. Jeez, you are easier. You're like, way too easy. Is something wrong? You off? Feeling off today, Cloud? Are you not used to playing Yu-Gi-Oh? Have you not learned how to play the game? You know what? We'll take the time to teach you how to play Kingdom Hearts Yu-Gi-Oh if you want. Cause you know what, you were such a challenge in the last game in all three fights. I feel like you deserve the honor of being fought in properly, you know what I mean? This, this is sad Cloud, I expected more from you. Especially you. You are Cloud motherfucking Strife, boyo. Expected way, way more for you. We have such higher standards. We had a rivalry, Cloud, and you also gave me a level up, so thank you, but... Does it really matter in the end? I guess a high potion matters. High potion cards, they're nice, I guess. But Cloud, I expected so much more from you. So much more. <laughs> oh fuck, we, we wiped him out of existence, holy shit. Someone really should have taught Cloud how to play Yu-Gi-Oh in this game, oh my god. Cloud, where'd, where'd you go? He hit it for the finish line. We better go after him. What? Fuck, how did they not see him go? But Jimmy did. Jesus Christ. How bad are you guys? Right. Let's roll out, boyos. Autobots, roll out to the key of truths. With that said, I'll see you guys in a second. Boy, we need a three or below. Done. Let's move on with our lives, as always. Let's see if we can stop Cloud from assassinating good old Herc. Oh boy, oh. Little did he know Hercules' weakness. You see, Cloud, you really gotta get used to the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, Jesus Christ, my guy. Yeah, you gotta get way better at this, Cloud. Someone's gotta teach you the instructions. Like, okay. Fuck it, fuck it. We're not gonna teach him to play Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. Off screen, I'll teach this boy how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, man. You lost! You lost! Give up! Give it up, Cloud! We're not done yet. 
I can't guarantee your safety if we keep going like this. Better worry about yourself. Looks to me like you're slowing down a bit. Uh, he's right. I'm only down to twos and threes. Don't worry, I'll back you up. Sora? Get all the backup you want. I'm gonna finish you and get back my memories! No, it. Your memories? Now, now. Now, now, Cloud. We don't want them to... We don't want to spill the beans. My Katie's voice changed, whatever. Haiti! Haiti, you! Looks looks like you oversold it. Looks like you oversold yourself. Oh, you did. All you did was wear him down. That this doesn't look good for your performance rating. Let me put it in this way. You, my spiky haired friend, are fired. No day! But my memory but my memories! We had a deal! Did you really think you can get back your lost memories just like that? Get a grip! Fucking Goofy's face over there is fantastic. Why you? Out of the way. Out of the way. I'll take care of my Erk Hercules myself. Oh boy, Hades boss fight in part 5. It only took him until like part 31 to get a Hades boss fight in the last game. Oh boy. Boy, fighting him right in part 5 in this game. Hey! Rule 5. It's never too late to enter the games. Hades, you were behind us from the start. Cloud, you have failed to take... Cloud may have failed to take you down, but he did break you down. Time for plan B. Pack your pit... Pack your pita. Pin pita? Ah, uh, I think it's a Greek thing. I don't fucking know. My bad, guys. Herc, because you've just won a free trip to the underworld. Paid by me. Hold it! Sora, no! Come on, Herc. How can we go one-on-one -on -one if you're on, if you're in the underworld? Good point, kid. I guess I'll just... I guess you'll just have to go with him. Rule six. There are no rules. Ha ha ha. Fuck you. Shield of invincibility. He's terrible at role-playing. Report. Get nerfed. Next patch. <laughs> All right, Katie, let's check out your Yu-Gi-Oh deck. I should have took out fire cards because that, that helps him. Whatever! We'll take him on regardless of how many Yu-Gi-Oh cards he has or how OP he may be. Hiya! You're not... Katie, you'll be way easier now because you can't take me on a Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Ah! Pizarra! Fuck you, Brosif! Take that. Courage. Simba, flame the boy. Get it? Flame him, cause you know he's Hades. That. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Oh shit! He launches them Cheetos at me again. He's bringing That's back it. his Cheetos. What an That's OP it. motherfucker! Take that. Take that. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Fuck you, broken. We need to heal, we need to heal. Take that. Leaf breaker, leaf breaker. Okay. Take that. Oh. Screw you, okay, goofy smash is not that effective. Take that. Take that. Power. Screw you, Hades! Simba! Take oh that. fuck me! Freeze! Freeze! That's it! That's it! Take that! That's it! That's it! Oh. Yeah. Hey! Okay! Heal. You're Take going that. down, Hades! God damn you! Damn you! Take that! Take that! Take that! That's it! Hurry. Ah. Yeah. Take that! That's it! That's it. Nope, 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 fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. That. Fuck you, bro! That's it. That's it. Fuck! God damn, I'll see you guys in a second. We're back, Take and that. you are going down, Hades, me boy. You are Take going that. down. No! That's it. Oh, what the fuck That's did he it. just do? Take that. 
Yeah. No, no, not happening. Not letting you take me down like this. I ain't going down take to the that. likes of thy. Take that. No, no. Power. Simba, fuck him up, boy. -o. Fuck him up real good. All right. Happening. We fucked him up with Zimba with our Blizzara. And guess what I did off screen? We basically trade out the fire in my deck for another Blizzard card. So, yay. Really good though. We took out Hades. That was awesome. And we did we did it way smoother than it actually was in the recording. And look, we got the Hades card now. That's also really dope. Ha! Oh, the, the day is saved by the Powerpuff Girls. I mean, literally, Thora is like red, pinkish thing, kind of like blossom. Uh, you also got Buttercup, Buttercup with Goofy, and then you got uh, Bubbles who's Donald. The, save, the day is saved by the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> Anyways. What? The games are canceled? How come? Two words. Everyone is pooped. Wait, that was more than two. You gotta be kidding. What about my, what about my match with Hercules? Well, little did you know, kid, you already had a match with Hercules in the last game. I'm sorry, Sora, but you wouldn't want to- but you wouldn't want me to compete in this condition. Let's have a match when I've rested up a bit. Can you wait? Okay, I'll hold you up to that. Then it's settled. Sora- Sora, come over here! He's coming around! Oh, Jiminy, what the fuck are you doing all the way over there? You- You okay? Yeah. Sorry, I messed up your games. Hey! Hope you get your memories back. Forget about what Hades said. Sometimes the, the tiniest thing can make you remember stuff you forgot years ago. That's very true. That's the very true, Sora. You're right, you're right. If it's an important memory, there's no way it could ever be gone forever. That's what I think, anyway. Whoa! We just got a cloud card! That's for you, for helping me out. Sure you don't want- Sure you don't want to com just come- ugh, ugh, ugh. Sure you don't want, just want to come with us instead? I know, right? Oh my god, that'd be so cool having Cloud as a permanent party member in this game. Have one of the Final Fantasy Pro Tags as a permanent party member in a Kingdom Hearts game. That'd be so dope. Thor, I like your thinking, Pally, but he's only a summoning card now. Cloud literally the only, like, summoning in this game that's, like, not based off Kingdom Hearts 1. He's the only original summoning. So, yeah. Everyone else from Kingdom Hearts 1 is a summoning. Simba, Bambi, Mushu, all of them. But Cloud is the only original one they added in this game, so ye. Not interested. All as well that ends well then. We are not Cloud, which I'll be putting into our deck when we have enough space. But until then, let's climb our way up that ladder and finish off this world. Cause god damn it, this world sucked. I mean, it actually didn't really suck. It's actually the most interesting world we've been to so far. But, it's, again, it's chain memory level design and shit, and wow, how did we get that car? That's very impressive. So, let's get going into the next cutscene. Uh, I hope the pig is gonna be okay. Why bring that up? I had to be sure that I hadn't forgotten them. How'd that go for you? Good. I remembered... Well, I remember that too. The king helped save everything by staying on the other side of the door to darkness. I think. You got it, Goofy. And me? I'm looking for Riku. He was with the king when the door closed. Hmm. I guess there's no way we'll forget the most important memories. That's good, because I don't want to forget. Oh, you guys provided us a little recap what of the ending of Kingdom Hearts 1, what Mickey and Riku were doing. But we will be seeing what Riku is up to, and maybe Mickey as well, in a second. So I'll see you guys there. Very cute memory.
Chat guys, Zora down on Goofy. Good guys, I like you guys. Good guys, best guys, best boys, Powerpuff Girls for life. <laughs> Speaking of Riku in the King, well, uh, looks like there's no cussing for him on this floor, so let's go on into the next world! I have identified the scent. It is Riku. Riku, you say? Has he emerged from the realm of darkness? His existence, it was once doubled in the darkness. Fascinating. That's why you mistook him for the superior. The dark power given to Riku facilitated his escape from its realm. What I want to know is why he appeared here in Castle Oblivion. That's really quite simple. His existence resonates with that of another hero. Sora? Is in the castle? He arrived earlier. Marluxia is already using Namine's unique powers to meddle with Sora's heart. Without even bothering to consult us. It seems he desperately wants the Keyblade Master for himself. What a foolish plan indeed. Sora's is not such an interesting existence. The entity that holds true value is Riku, the hero of darkness. That is such a cool title. Like, Riku, the hero of darkness is so dope. And it looks like some guy named Marluxia is trying to fuck around with Sora. And someone named Namine is trying to, like, manipulate his memories or something like that. Very strange. Guess I could explain what's going on with Sora's memories, though. Why they can't remember stuff like Hollow Bastion. Oh well, at least you're doing daily memory checks. Let's head on into Agrabah now, though. Yeah, Riku does not really have much to say. No, he does not. So this is pretty much just gonna be me jumping around, and uh, I might actually... I was thinking about just cutting out level ups in general, because you know what they are at this point for both characters. Only show off Thor if he gets like an extra slight or something. But um, for Riku, there's literally no reason for me to show off his level ups anymore. And there's like literally no story in Riku's world, but I guess I'll do this. Welcome to Agrabah! And uh, yeah, um, I'll see you at Riku's boss fight. Uh, peace out. For this door, we shall be using a green card that is five or above. Well, thankfully, this card is exactly five. Let's go on. Yeah, literally, guys, I. There's literally nothing interesting that happened in the same mode of Riku gameplay. You missed nothing from Agrabah. It's just. Agraba. We'll be exploring it more with Sora later. It'll be more interesting then. But yeah, it's literally just the same old chain of memory, the Riku grinding. So you're not missing, missing. You're not missing too much in terms of content at all. So yeah, let's go into this room through the key beginning and fight our boss fight. Jeez, I wonder who the boss fight for this one could be though. Jeez, I'm like genuinely curious. Oh boy, who could it be? Oh shit, we actually have an opening animation for this one. Oh, it's Jafar from the last game. I hope you- I hope you prepare- Jafar! Jafar! I hope you prepared your Yu-Gi-Oh deck, cause I did not stand a chance against me! Basically, same strategy as the last game. Uh, basically, you can't damage Jafar, but you can da damage Iago, so... Who's holding Jafar's lamb, so always go for that. And yeah, have fun with the boss fight, then. Thank you for the health, Mickey. You're very health- You're very helpful. But yeah, uh, this fight is even easier in this game than it is in the last game, so... And granted, actually, in the last game is the most challenging version of that boss fight. This one, not so much. God damn it, give me that Mickey. Mickey, come on up! By the way, reminder, Mickey is your healing, and he also has some cool combos to do with Riku, so, yeah, always keep that in mind. R Mickey is for combat and healing, it's how Riku cures. Riku does not have magic cards, so he cannot cure. But yeah, basically, just go around the room, the platform, the raid, and just, and go down, and different shit like that. And just try to take out Iago, while avoiding Jafar's, Jafar's attacks from the back. So yeah, it's basically the same boss fight from the last game. Uh, 
Don't get hit by that, Riku, you fucking cunt. And uh, yeah, we also get Trinity cards. Get the Trinity card for this match. Basically, all the platforms are all together now. So everything's all cool, so we can land a couple hits. Don't you wreck me! Don't you fucking wreck me! God damn it! And just like that, we are back in the fight! Yago, you're going down, bird brain! Yeah! Bird brain over there going down! We're gonna pluck your feathers! Tonight will be your last cock! Oh, don't. I didn't mean cock. I mean, like, cock. Like, you know, cock. You know. Oh, shit! Rick who's going in emo mode! You know for real now! Let's fucking wreck him! Oh, shit! Oh, yeah! Even though the myth, fuck you, Jafar! You're not getting me with your shit again! Ah. Damn it, I fucked it up, I guess. Whatever, you don't stand a chance! Fuck no, Mickey, we're missing! We're missing every fucking shot! You're going down! We shot him down! The bird is down! Jafar is gone! And yeah, th that was a boss fight. It was the same boss fight from Kingdom Hearts 1, but with Chain of Memories combat. You can say the same for Hades, but yeah, fuck it. At least Thor's combat's more interesting to talk about. But hey, look, we got the Jafar card. That's pretty neat. I almost forget to use the enemy cards as Riku. Oh well, let's increase our darkness. Our darkness. Really edgy boyos. And yeah, um, guess I have to go all the way back there. So I'll see you guys in a second then. And we are here. Let's see if we have any cutscenes to watch or listen to. Yes, we do. I take it you're Riku. Are you with Ansem? You are half correct. Let us say that he is not the Ansem with which you are familiar. He is Ansem, and he is not Ansem. Perhaps a nobody best conveys the idea. Riddles were never my thing. Try again. He belongs to neither the light nor the dark, but walks the twilight between. Oh. <laughs> Catching on now? Oh, yes. You also stand in between the light and the darkness. It appears we have much in common. Maybe. Like you said, there really is darkness left inside of me. But so what? Darkness is my enemy. And so are you for reeking of that awful smell. Oh, so it's a fight you want. Very good. I shall take you on. Alrighty, so Vexen from the organization wants to fight Riku for whatever reason. And he, Riku's walking the road in between light and darkness. And also, this guy's his leader does the same. Interesting. And he's ice and he fights with a shield? That is so cool, but you're done. No! Fuck you, boy -o! But yeah, uh, this is Vexen. He's an organization member. And he's like the first one we're fighting in the sh series. Wait, wrong. We fought Axel, Thora. Never mind, Vexen. You don't get that honor. But Vexen is actually one of my favorite members through the organization. Don't at me. I like this guy. And we will see why later, but he's a cool character and shit. Well... Fuck thy too. He's also a genuine challenge in his boss fight. Fuck you, boy -o! But yeah, uh Riku smells like darkness. No wait, no, he didn't he's in between. That's yeah, that's what I mean. Fuck! Okay, we'll talk about this more in a second. Actually, no. Now that I think about it, no. I'm gonna take this time right here to talk about Riku and everything right now. Okay. 
So Riku walks a line between light and darkness. Person, but he hates darkness, so he's trying to destroy darkness. That is what's going on with him right now. And apparently, uh, this guy is kind of vexing. The organization is kind of with Ansem, but not really with Ansem. And they apparently walk a fine line between light and darkness. Very strange, very strange. We'll figure out what all this means one day, but not today. It does have a good explanation, though, and it, and it is a satisfying one at that, though. And, like, yeah, this Vexen guy, he's very interesting. I really like Vexen. He's one of my favorite organization members, so, yeah. But he's a tough fight, though. He is a tough cookie. Like, I didn't think I was going to get wrecked with Riku, ever. But he he just wrecked me, so, yeah, very interesting. I'll see you. I'll see you guys in a second when we get back to it. Welcome back to the fight. We are in dark form and we're about to wreck this group. Break the fuck out. Okay, maybe you'll wreck us. Who knows? Who knows? Dude, oh, god damn it, Riku. How the fuck did you miss? Whatever, don't miss that one. Thank you. Holy shit, Riku. Stop. No, you shall not. Basically, Riku. I don't even have to give you battle strategies like don't use ice element, but because Riku can't use ice elements. Because, you know, his combat is so simple that he can't really customize his deck, so... Doesn't really matter. Just basically, try not to avoid an attack. Try to attack him from behind if you're not spamming like I am. And yeah. Yes, finally showed off a good, perfect dark break in this. Mickey! God damn you! No way, okay. No way, Jose. Fuck you, boy. Let's go. Fuck thy up, Mickey. Let's get him. Fuck. I'll see you guys in a second. So I came up with something for Vexen, uh, when fighting him and you're not in dark mode, just play defensive, wait until he hits you, then try to, like, top the number he's using, you know? Like, play defensive against Vexen, don't be an idiot. And that's my advice. Also, don't let him do that to you! Never let him do that to you, Mickey, fuck him up, boy! Oh. You're not fucking me up! You're not fucking me up! There we go. But yeah, play defensive. If he's gonna play defensive, you gotta wait until he plays offensive, you know what I mean? I'll either get behind Vexen, behind the shield, and, or uh, wait until he swings his shield and plays a higher number than he's placing. And always make sure to out-combo him, because his combos are, dem are devastating. I'm just stating that fact, like, you are not gonna have an easy time with Vexen at all. Especially if you're new to Chain of Memories and shit like that. But he's a satisfying boss fight, and I like his character. Yeah. <laughs> I find coursing through you there is a darkness of formidable power growing, well worth the trouble of aggravating you. All this excitement has provided me with invaluable data. What? <laughs> Many thanks, Riku. It was a trick all along. Data? Why would Vexen need data? Was he just testing Riku, perhaps? And, uh, Vexen must have been having fun, though. That must have been a really fun fight for him. I, I'm impressed. Was, <laughs> he looked like he was having a good time. I really like Vexen. He's like one of my favorite organization members. He, he's great. He's great. Actually, I like all the organization members in Chain of Memories now that I really think about it. I like all of them in general, pretty much. But in particular, the ones in Chain of Memories, because they are the ones that look the most anime-ish compared to, like, Kingdom Hearts 2 and stuff. But, yeah, I love this the organization setup in this game. It's great. And the boss, Vexen boss fight is also great and challenging. And I died twice to it, which is, which is kind of shocking to me. Because uh, we only died once to Hades, and, like, we didn't die at all to Cloud earlier. So, yeah. So all that said, I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this part of Kingdom Hearts 3 Channel Memories. If you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, click the bell for notifications to be to be notified of the next Kingdom Hearts 3 Channel Memories part, or Final Fantasy X, or any other live stream that I do. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, my friend.